guys. Hello. Sorry, it took forever. I don't know why. Well, we, it, it seemed like we all had issues. I couldn't hear anything. And then maybe, I finally got mad time. and I closed everything down, came back into my business page, started up the Hangout. I was here. It kicked me out. And then somehow it started it up over on my personal page. Weird. It's it, a yeah. goopy. It's like I've just about had it with Google Hangouts. <laughs> So, that's the way that goes. So, welcome to the late starting QuickBooks for Contractors Hangout um, and Joys of Technology. How is everybody this week? Oh, wait, that's tomorrow. Isn't it? No, that's Friday. That's Friday. <laughs> well, I just spent a half hour on the phone trying to renew my Pro Advisor membership. So I was half quite an hour. I was quite amazed that on the website I couldn't go in and edit my. I just all I needed to do was just change my credit card, and it wouldn't even. There's there was no provision to actually go in and edit my credit card. Oh, you're <laughs> kidding! No. And, so. and I thought that that was the whole point of that um, Memorial Day upgrade that took how many days? Four days. Well, at least, at least I couldn't do it. Maybe. <laughs> I think they suspended my account because it was supposed to be renewed yesterday and one day. Yeah, so it was pretty amazing. I was pretty uh, ticked off. <laughs> do you have a rep that you deal with all the time? Uh, not really. I try not to deal with them too much. I mean, but... Yeah, it, it's tough. Um, it seems like every time I get to a point where I know where something is on the Pro Advisor website, they change it, and I don't anymore. Well, they they changed it, and not necessarily. And then the place where I was just to logging in is changed. I think it's accountants and not accountant got into it. So it's. Uh, yeah. I was I wasn't all that impressed. It seemed like every time they try to improve it, they screw things up. Well, this whole since memorial has been like a screw up to me. This has not been an upgrade to me. This is definitely a downgrade. Did you ever get your your Pro Advisor version of QuickBooks 2013? Um, I, I got did 13 the other day. like two weeks ago, and today I just got my beta licenses. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Guess better late than never, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, I haven't gotten my um, beta licenses yet. I've gotten my notice that I got a, my award, and then I got another notice that they'd be sending me my licenses, and. I guess progress, not perfection. Well, I got those notices too, and I didn't do a damn thing with it as far as testing goes. So I wasn't planning on using it. So you got a license for beta too. I the think beta? so, but I, but I never did any testing. I just installed it. <laughs> so I wasn't really planning on using the licenses because, well, <laughs> the first place, the computer I have on doesn't work very well, so I thought I'd just leave it on the on the other one. Oh, wow. Wow. So, have you guys been, like, digging into 2013? No. Mac no. or PC? Yeah, sorry, dear PC. <laughs> I can't afford one of them Macs. Yeah, I, I do have a couple smaller companies that I've moved over, and it is buggy as hell. Yeah, it is. You know, I've gone into reports, and you know how you drill down, and it took me to, like, the customer center. Um, so, well, isn't the first one always, like, you just don't go there because they're working out bugs? Yeah, I was told don't use do anything until R3 comes out, that R2 is, if it comes out, because it's been a catastrophe on some level that they're having to fix it, so you just wait till the R3. 
It's been a catastrophe on all the levels, except for Mac, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> I've been hearing good things about Mac, actually, that they improved the reconciliation. Yes. Oh, what, you nice. can actually sort by columns now? can actually sort by columns, yes. <laughs> it, it's beautiful. Yeah, a friend of mine, uh, Shelly Robbins, she's not doing PCs anymore. She's not taking on... You know who Shelly Robbins is? She's like yep. Uh, yep. an Intuit Trader Network. Um, she has a, she hosts our meetup. She's the head of our meetup group out here in uh, Southeast Alaska. <laughs> That's where you are, Dennis. I didn't realize. Seattle. Seattle. Okay. About twenty miles north of Seattle. Huh. In the upper left, upper left-hand corner. <coughs> Where it rains 360 days a year. Actually, we've been having a drought. It hasn't rained. It's rained one day in about the last 40 days. Wow. It's been great. My grass is all brown, so I haven't had to mow it or anything like that. You know. <laughs> I, I love it. <laughs> I think we've got to mow ours one more time, and then we'll be done for the year. Yeah, I figured Even though we ran out of water and the well went dry, the grass kept growing, so it was getting water from somewhere. Sorry, Rhonda. Hope you feel better soon. I'm getting there, trying, but my little guy is homesick with me too. So. Oh man. I've been sick all week. Yeah, it's just going around, and so of course I got it. My fir the first thing my husband says, "It's the flu," and you got the flu shot. I'm like, "It's not the flu." It's wow. Cold. Hey, Seth David? <laughs> Seth David. Seth <laughs> David. Right. So one of the things that I'm really excited about, about 2013, and yes, I want to repeat, I am excited about this. Oh, okay. good. What changed your mind? One silly thing. Group items can now hold 50 items instead of 20. Okay. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I, I'm always getting people saying, calling me up and saying, you know, can I just, you know, create a, a stock estimate template? And it's like, well, yeah, you can do it and you can memorize it, but then you got to go find it. Right. Okay. And then there's that whole thing of, you know, it looks really confusing when they pull it up and blah, 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 blah. Um, but, you know, I mean, 50 items is a lot. Really? When you're doing a group, yes. You know, and I mean, that's always been my big gripe about, like, QuickBooks group items for years. It, it, give me something that I can do something with. So I, I was I was very excited about that. Does it mean that I'm going to start using 2013 <laughs> on a regular basis? No. I, I did that blog post the other day comparing the the new layout of the employee record in 2013 right. to 2012. By the time I got through going through 2013 and doing screenshots, headache, bang. It was like, okay, glad I'm done. I've heard a lot of people say that. A lot of people have gone back and, and complained to Intuit about it. Uh, yeah. And, you know, there's there really are. There's still a lot of bugs in it. And I keep telling my customers, don't be silly, especially the ones with payroll who have to do W-2s. Right. Don't do it until after you've done your W-2s and make sure it's really the way you want to go. Well, I'm excited about the new batch entry. I want to see how you can download it to a CSV. I mean, download a CSV into QuickBooks, particularly for Bank of America. <laughs> oh. <laughs> OK, I'm just going to shut my mouth on that one. <laughs> We all love Bank of America here. Yeah. Seth is not speaking. This is his opportunity to chime in. 
No, I'm 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 here in spirit, but I'm trying to bang out a a, a payroll entry for somebody who's trying to get their taxes filed. He's in his CPA's office waiting for me to finish. As we... Oh my God! And you can't yeah. get hang out with us. That's cool. Just to show and prove that he's. Well, actually... Nancy made it easy for me. She posted the link. Well, yeah, that was because Google was mad at me today. It it kicked me out. Wouldn't let me have any sound, and then it turned around and took it off my business page and put it through my personal page. Cool. So one of them's got to go, and I think it's the personal page that's going to go. Actually, I dropped off. I, I don't even touch the business one on Google Plus because it's limited. They, there's things you can do with the personal that they won't let you do with the business one. So I pretty much, I mean, it's still out there, but I pretty much let go completely of the business profile that I have on Google Plus. It just sits there. I never log into it. Yeah, I'm with you, Seth. I really rarely log into mine also. Yep. Hmm. So what else is going on? Anybody been working with any new contractors lately? I hear there's a lot more work out California, West Coast. We're busy, but with busy comes drama. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd you tell? <laughs> Where do I begin? I don't know. Pick the top two biggest pieces of drama in this my week. Subcon my subcontractors don't know how to bill, which then uh, creates drama with our billing the client, especially when the job is over. And we're oh, just yeah. getting a job. I mean, uh, filling. It's a long, involved story. Um, and employees. Yeah. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Still tracking the one? Huh? Didn't you have a uh, tracker on one of your Oh, yeah. Ones? He's still being... Well, I don't know if he's still being tracked. <laughs> now that I think about it. Well, are your subcontractors using QuickBooks? <laughs> <laughs> um, here's a funny story. I have a tile contractor who does use QuickBooks. How he uses it, I couldn't tell you. And I have tried to just tell him simple ways. The funny thing is, is he has a degree in accounting <laughs> and cannot invoice me properly. Oh my god. Oh, it's so bad. You guys would just die. I just die. And I'm not even a professional. So and and then I have another guy who another subcontractor who's an electrician and he uses every time he invoices me he'll send an invoice and then if he wants a statement rather than just creating a statement he'll just re-invoice me again. <laughs> so that does his books well. So yeah, wow. so he has a list of invoices to me that have already been in, and I'm just like, you guys are <laughs> how do you keep yeah. track, right? Wow. Uh, it takes me longer to do that than anything. You need to increase your fee and charge him an admin fee or something. That's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. No, it's called a stupid fee. Well, <laughs> whatever. I was trying to be kind. Well, I'm just I, from now on. I'm just kicking it back. Going, if you guys can't do this right, then I can't pay you correctly. Sorry. Oh, I like that. That's beautiful. I mean, yeah. that's the only way, right? Money talks. So. Absolutely. Yeah, and bill.com. Yeah. Yeah, I don't use it, but I mean. You could. I, I could. I don't necessarily need to currently, but I guess I never need not to. But those are my pain in the butts right now. I, I, just, I just received some money from Nerd Enterprises yesterday. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! Hey! Speaking of which, did you guys who showed up to Friday's hangout all get your hundred bucks a piece from from yeah. Seth? <laughs> I didn't. I, didn't, oh, I, didn't well, I wasn't there the full hour. I was excluded. So you get fifty bucks at my first. It should be prorated. <laughs> no, I had to do the full hour and I couldn't do it. It's very black and white. <laughs> I, I cracked up when I read that. It was like, well, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited. We may see some rain. Maybe. I'm excited our rain is ending. Oh. <laughs> well, we don't get rain that much. 
But Washington does, I know that. Not these days. Not recently. No. About 40 days so far. Wow. Had one day of rain, one day of measurable precipitation in the last 40 days. It's the reverse of Noah's flood. Yeah. My family lives in Renton. And uh, we were up there a couple weeks, or a couple months ago. And of course it rained. Well, it rains until about July. Summer's from like July 1st to about maybe, well, this year it's going to like about October 15th, I guess. And I was like, uh, but usually it rains in June. Hmm. So we're just kind of like behind everybody. Well, Nancy, I just got a new contractor client. He did. And he came in and he told me he's on QuickBooks Online and he just converted from QuickBooks PC. And my first question to him was, why did you do that? Oh, no kidding. Oh, it is such a nightmare to clean up. <laughs> and, and, and how did he respond? Well, you can log on from anywhere, and it just sounded like the right thing to do. Uh, I can take my Mac anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so why, why didn't he go with having his desktop version hosted? Um, he did not talk to me before he did that. He did not talk to me until he had such a mess that he didn't know what to do with it anymore. Oh, man. He has, like, three bank accounts plus his personal bank account, which I'm not putting on the books, but he's had customers deposit money to that account. <laughs> Oh then uh, he said, well, I would come home and I'd have a receipt and I'd enter it as a cash receipt. And that was all he was putting in the QuickBooks. No reconciliations. No, like he only had the one bank account set up to that cash receipt for all of the bank accounts he was using. <laughs> So, and it didn't matter if he was using bank accounts or credit cards. Everything went in as a cash receipt. Oh, man. Then he's using, I know, Bank of America, our lovely bank, and making deposits because you can go to the Bank of America place and just put in the checks. So he puts the checks in individually, one right after another, and then left them in undeposited funds. So Yay. here I am, 10 <laughs> months later, trying to do 10 months worth of, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars of checks, $45 a check at a time, with deposits that are, you know, 5000 6000 So, oh. Well, Bank of America does have an app where you can take a picture of a check and do a deposit <laughs> that way. Very yeah. insecure. <laughs> and when I asked him for that, and if he had that information, which would have been extremely useful, because then I could have seen at least what dates the deposits were made and to <laughs> whom. You know, I have nothing to go on here. Nothing. You know, that that's a really <laughs> that that's a really horrible situation. And I guess you know that that brings a question to my mind on how do we educate our clients whether they're contractors or not that real the the benefits of having quickbooks desktop what you are used to having it hosted versus going to qb online and ending up with a mess can you yes. do job costing in QuickBooks Online? I didn't think you could. I would be happy to have anything right on this database at this point. It, it, it's extremely limited from my understanding, and you have to have the plus or the... the, the That's oh, what I yeah. thought, yeah. the higher version. It, yeah, and, yeah. It, you know, I mean, it, it, to me, so th th there's there's one drawback, and and even then it's not 
job costing the way we're used to job costing in QuickBooks Desktop. Do they have two-sided items in, uh, online? Yeah, but you don't necessarily have a real job record. Oh. It, it's kind of like, remember the old peach tree days? I don't know if anybody ever used peach tree. I did for a little while and it drove me insane. <laughs> you, could, you could assign a job to a transaction, but you could never physically see that job record. Like you can physically see it in QuickBooks. Right. Oh. It was one of those kind of deals like it's there, but it's not there. Mm. And that um, would be my question. What kind of reports do they have on the QuickBooks online? Well, can't he change his mind and pull a different subscription or <laughs> QuickBook hosting and just, you know, cut his losses? Well, and... you know, once he gets my bill for all the hours I'm putting into it to unravel it, I would think it would make a difference to him. I, I would think because, you know, I mean, any benefit that he deemed from being able to access his QuickBooks anytime, anywhere, <laughs> went right out the window. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and he said he's getting married, and I asked him, can I talk to your soon-to-be wife and have her do your bookkeeping, please? <laughs> I really did say that to him. <laughs> Yeah, my other issue with QuickBooks Online, too, as far as the job costing piece goes, is y your payroll doesn't live in QuickBooks Online in the same way that it lives in QuickBooks Desktop. Yeah, and to me, that's, that's a big issue because, I mean, you stop and think for just about any business, payroll is your biggest expense. Absolutely. You know, and if you and if you need job costing on top of that, well, those payroll expenses are they got to be in your job yeah. cost reports. And if it yeah. doesn't live in QuickBooks, How do you there you go that? with that disjointed. Right. You know, you might as well take a stick of dynamite and light it under whatever because everything is scattered all over the place. Right. So you can't assign payroll to job, you can't assign the payroll Wait. job cost to the particular job with QuickBooks Online? It goes in via journal entries and we all, I mean, oh. journal entries have a place. Job costing isn't the place for journal entries, at least in my opinion. So you can't do really job costing with payroll for QuickBooks Online then? Not that I am aware of. You know, it, everybody keeps support to Excel and manipulating Excel. Yeah, you know, and, and where's the time savings in that? Right. Hmm. You know, I, I guess I don't know. I guess even after all these years, I still am old school. I, I all your eggs in one basket if you've got to job cost. You know, I mean, why have a piece of it? over here and another piece of it over here and then a piece of it over here and yet another piece down here mm -hmm. that you've got to go and gather up all of those pieces or somebody does you know on a monthly basis or whenever it, it, to, to put all that together and, and come to a bottom line of well did I make money or did I not right so it makes it about impossible to do estimates too then right yeah because you have nothing to 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 track, you know. I mean, it. it you know, it, it, these guys that say to me, "Oh well, I have it all in my head." <laughs> I'd like to take them by the heels and turn them upside down and shake them and 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 see all this stuff fall out of their head. <laughs> Yeah, we get a lot of dust sometimes, I think. <laughs> but it, it is, it, it, it's tough, you know, it's like, you know, I, I realize the cloud is the way to go. I realize we're all, all over the place. We're all doing way more things than we should. Um, 
but you know, and it's imp- is not it. Yeah, and it, you the other know, thing is it's so slow. Oh my God! Yeah, I, it is so not meant for data entry. I am used to just like boom, 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 boom. It's boom. Wait, boom. <laughs> wait. <laughs> oh, I'd be booming something out the window. Probably be my monitor. <laughs> oh, well, you know, I try to have the attitude that if everyone was perfect, there wouldn't be any jobs for us. Yeah. This is true. <clears throat> but my problem is I am so detail-oriented that I can't stand it when I don't have those details correct. It, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that that kind of drives me a little wacko too. Speaking of Bank of America, they just sent me an email. <laughs> Is it a good one? Or are they returning your money <laughs> for not sending the exact amount? <laughs> My client and I have decided to go on a campaign. We're going to send every payment to Bank of America with 50 cents extra. <laughs> so they have to send that 50 cents back. Now, in the whole scheme of things, it'll be nothing for them, right? Because it just gets in the flow. But if we get enough people, hey! <laughs> oh my god, that's too funny. Yep, yep. That's a good yep. idea, though. <laughs> It's a great idea, actually. He is doing it. He I hate him, and I don't even have him anymore. Cents back. He wants them to do the extra and has to pay the 43 cents for the stamp and the time <laughs> and all of that. Yep. You know, I, I kind of did that with Capital One. Um, <laughs> I had a, a, a Capital One credit card. I'd had it for a long time for the business. And... Actually, it was the last Sleater conference that I went to down in Orlando. So here I had put the Sleater conference um, registration on it. I had put my plane tickets on it. I had booked my hotel on it. And all of those charges went through just fine. I got down there and I put dinner at the hotel restaurant on my credit card and the next morning they called here looking for me because somebody was in Florida using my credit card and charged I don't know twelve dollars to a restaurant at the at, at the, the the Hyatt Hotel So, in addition to having the credit card with them, we'd also put a lot of money, or a fair amount of money, into a Capital One money market. After I reamed them <laughs> from Florida on a borrowed cell phone, because I don't own one, and they apologized all over, their pl all over the place. When I got home, I called them up and I said, you've lost my business and I'm taking the money that I have in your money market account out and I left a penny in it and it's been there since like <laughs> 2009. <laughs> <laughs> so Capital <laughs> One, if you're listening... <laughs> I'll bet you, get you now that they put so many charges on it, you owe them money. <laughs> you know, it was just like, oh my god. And and I had even I, I had even called and said, I'm gonna be traveling. Right. I'm going to be traveling the east the, the length of the east coast from Vermont to Florida. Oh, that's not a problem. <laughs> not a problem for them, apparently. <laughs> well, it is because every 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 month they they send me a, a statement for that penny. <laughs> <laughs> still there. It's still there. Some one of these days I'll be nice and I'll take the penny out, but. <laughs> So they're spending 43 cents a month to send you a statement to tell you you have a penny. Uh-huh. 
Well, and it's more than that because it's toner and paper yeah. and envelopes and somebody yeah. to fold a it and, and somebody to, somebody to put it all together. It, load the printer. I used to do that stuff. That was my job for a lot of years. Yeah, I don't get mad. I just get even. <laughs> So, but yeah, I mean, some of the things that, that the credit card companies and, and the banks do is just like incredible. Absolutely incredible. What do you got there, Nina? That's Simmy Boy. He's a resident barker. <laughs> the turkey chaser. Yes, he chases turkeys, bull mastiffs, you name it. <laughs> Oh boy! Speaking of cooking, did you make corn? Did you make the bread? I did. And and it's done. And it is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I, the loaf didn't last very long. <laughs> so what, what kind of bread are we making? Well, it's it's starting to feel like fall, so we did pumpkin bread today. Oh. Ah. Did you use that recipe I posted? Huh? Did you use that recipe I posted? No, I was going to do the cinnamon rolls, but I don't have counter space to roll, so I had to do uh, pumpkin bread instead. Because you don't have to roll that, it's just a quick bread. Pumpkin bread one, too. And no, uh, it was actually, well, you might have, but it was uh, uh, cinnamon pumpkin rolls, and I was like, oh my gosh, cinnamon rolls are one of my favorite things, and pumpkin in it would be just over the moon. <laughs> oh, but I yeah. don't have the counter space to roll, so. Cool. Unfortunately, we had to modify, so I found another recipe on the web, and it is so good. <laughs> oh my god! It's a good recipe. It's I said I actually put in a secret ingredient. I added something to it. Uh oh. So, but it's still good. <laughs> Did you use any home extracts from a certain <laughs> extract company? You know, I have to tell you, this recipe called for zero extracts. That's just wrong. I think you should have improvised and added something. Well, that's not to say that I didn't. I said there was a secret ingredient. I'm just not saying what the secret was. Oh. Because <laughs> then, would it be a secret anymore? No. Yeah, but what if we want the recipe? Well, you'll have to figure out what the ingredient is. So you'll have to. Uh, oh, then you'll have to send us samples so we can taste test it and see if we can figure it out. Yeah. I have those awesome idea. So send me a prepaid envelope. For $1. <laughs> oh boy. For just 29.95. You can help. <laughs> but wait. I know. So no, I actually I know. I actually do have a question. I wanted to ask last Friday, but we had such a great discussion, I didn't have time. Um, I have a new service station client that um, is um, going to be really, really good once we get a good flow, but they sell lottery tickets and um, they pay out of the cash register when a ticket wins and then the California Lottery Commission pays them through um, direct deposit to their checking account and I don't know what my offset account is supposed to be. Is it supposed to be the um, lottery, cost of goods sold, California lottery ticket? Hmm. I would have a tendency to put it on on the balance sheet as some sort of liability, I'm thinking. Uh, or or and even a clearing the account. Hit the account again. Well, see, it's not going to balance though because their their cash on hand account because it comes in the till, it always zeros out each month. So, and then they have like a safe drop for um you know what doesn't get deposited into um, the the bank so it's like there's these four things and I've got three out of the four figured out so at the moment I'm putting it to undeposited collections but I know that's not right which is basically their undeposited funds account so what what's maybe I missed it what's the money you don't know where to put where Okay, so um, you go into the service station, you buy a lottery ticket. Now win a million dollars, okay. And and then you won a million bucks. So they take a million dollars out of the cash register and pay you cash, <coughs> which of course is not going to be that amount. It's going to be like five, ten, fifty bucks. Well, and yeah. Then, and they and then they get reimbursed. They, the service station, gets reimbursed from the California State Lottery, and it's a direct deposit to their business checking account. 
Simmy. And that's what you that's the account you don't know what it, the deposit from California. So it goes into their their um, in as a deposit to their checking account, but my offset entry to that is I don't know what. So it, it shouldn't be an expense and it shouldn't be income because they're being reimbursed <coughs> for what they paid out. Well don't they have a receivable from the, the California? No. I mean, if they pay it out on their behalf, aren't they going to be a debit to the receivable and a credit to the cash register they're paying out? But that's the thing. I can't have it go to the cash register because the cash register stays at zero. And the prior bookkeeper lumped everything together, and I can't figure out what she did. And they don't have a clue, the customer. Is that well, that weird payable account that they had set up? No, that was a different one that we figured out. <laughs> that was oh boy. Nasty. Oh, it was some kind of wonderful. I got to tell you. Right, right. Oh, I, I, oh, oh. <coughs> Is that a good O, Bruce? Yeah, I think so. Did you figure it out? I think so. Okay, anticipation here. I'm looking. <laughs> So, I don't know. I mean, I just don't know where to put this money. In my bank account would be okay. <laughs> yeah. Say that again? I'll Give take it. it. Yeah. So, if you're putting it in the undeposited collectibles, it's going on the balance sheet anyway. Right, it is. So, you... I would just set up another account and let it go in and out of there. I could do that. And leave it on the balance sheet. And eventually you should be able to reconcile both sides. Although, like you said, with the timing difference, there's always going to be an amount plus or minus. Yeah, because I mean the California state doesn't do anything fast, so I think yeah. it does. Uh, yeah, okay. And and that keeps your undeposited funds cleaner. And yeah. You, you can reconcile them much easier. Yeah, and just some sort of good old clearing account. And that's a possibility too. Because I had thought about doing it to the cost of goods sold for the tickets, for the actual um, lottery tickets, but that didn't seem right either. That's on the P and L then. Yeah. Yeah, that didn't know. Maybe no. Nancy's idea of making a, a clearing account and making it a bank account might not be a bad idea. So instead of paying it out of the cash on hand till when they do a lottery payout, you create this in and out account. Yes. Yeah. Specifically for the lottery stuff. Yep. I can and, totally do and, that. and just call it lottery. Yeah. I'll put it lottery clearing. Yeah. I can do that. You know, anytime anything gets paid out, it goes in, and then when the de money comes in from California, it goes in as a deposit, and it's just a wash. Well, I could do that, but then I'm not going to be able to balance their cash on hand account because then their cash on hand is going to be different because the worksheet she sends me includes that lottery payout amount on their paid outs. So the cash on hand has the where they pay the money in for the lottery yeah. tickets, and yeah. then it has it where they pay money out for. I mean, are they making any money? Is this just basically a war? So they make any kind of margin on this? No, they're making more money than they're paying out. Okay. So well, it's, that's it's good. never going to be as yeah. <laughs> so it's never going to be a zero. And I got to tell you, if I ever come into money, I want to own a gas station. <laughs> <laughs> I had an opportunity to do that before, and when I looked at the books and saw how much money they actually made, it really wasn't that much considering the amount of cash that I had to handle. I yeah. didn't want to handle a million dollars in cash <laughs> to make $20,000. Yeah. yeah, that's no fun. And, it and looks good on I paper, guess though. It was, 
back in the day when you had to go to the bank with the money. That was my concern. Yeah. You know? Well, they have these great armored cars that come these days, and they'll right, take you to deposit right. for you. Well, it depends on where you live now. <laughs> That's true. That's that's really a unique situation. Well, I don't feel so stupid then. Oh, bye, Seth. We lost Seth. Hey, dude. Hi there. How goes it? <laughs> that's my sick one. Are you mommy a little bit sick? She's asking if you're feeling sick. You don't look oh, sick. Oh, I'm sorry. He doesn't. Good natured sick. <laughs> yeah. He's smiling. Yeah. He's excited. He got a box. Oh, sweet. That's going to be a theory. You're going to create a video? Uh, no, it's it's a new cable box that is replacing the one in his room that he won't sleep in because he can't sleep without the, the TV, like, you know, the light of it. So maybe now we'll go to sleep in our room. Yes, we will. <laughs> He's telling me no, but <laughs> I'm reading it right now, Bruce. <laughs> My handy dandy phone. <laughs> long. That's <laughs> oh. pretty funny. Oh, it is long. Okay, well, this will be set aside for future consumption then, because <laughs> that means I actually have to pay attention when I read. <laughs> well, Bruce was pretty excited when he was typing it over there. I know. I didn't realize it was for me. I'm just like, yay. <laughs> <laughs> He got excited for me. It's all about that secret extract. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not saying. I'm just not going to tell. I don't wow. think I had any part of that other than I got a copy of the recipe she used minus the secret ingredient. Yeah, you got the, the standard old recipe, and then I tweaked it a little bit because I always tweak things. I just can't leave them alone. i got to put my flair on stuff. Uh, my husband tells me that a recipe or a meal is not safe because I can start out with this is how you do it and by the time it's done not much there that looks like the original thing. Does he enjoy eating it? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. I, I don't think I've ever had him tell me and don't bother to do that one again. Somebody's cell phone is coming. Congratulate you. I thought that was like my computer or something. Yeah, I was somebody's like, I can cell feel phone. Feel it from here. That's mine. <laughs> yeah, it was Dennis. I saw you reach. I'm like, ah, oh, it's got to be Dennis. <laughs> it, it, as a matter of fact, his birthday is coming up this weekend, and he's he's having a dilemma. He doesn't know if he wants a German chocolate cake for his birthday or a Boston cream pie. Boston cream pie. Boston cream pie. He, 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 he asked for both. Oh. <laughs> is it a significant birthday? Um... Or is it just a tweener birthday? Yeah, it, it, it's a tweener, but uh, I, I don't think he expected to make it past 40. Uh, <laughs> well, you know those deadheads. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Uh, I think they're well preserved, honestly. <laughs> it, 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 and actually, Some he's funny with this puppy. That Ben's never had any kids of his own, so he says... You know, I don't like babies. I think they're going to break. And at my age, I'm too old to have a baby puppy. <laughs> I don't know. You know, Steve Steve said the same thing for a lot of years, and we were not going to have kids. And I was okay with that because there's positives both sides of the, you know, outlook on that. But he got to a point in his life, and he said, you know, I think I'm going to regret it if I don't have a kid. So we did, and we're late life parents now. So, And he's awesome. He loves it. He does a great job with Sammy. He's like the best dad. And is your dog named dad? Sammy? Sammy and yeah. your kid? No, my dog is Simmy. Oh, Simmy, the dog okay. Is Sammy. Oh, gosh. And I yes, like it. See that complication. Yes, there is like so much confusion. Even Sammy gets it wrong sometimes. Oh, no. Sammy calls Simmy Sammy. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. So there's another reason we gave up drinking in this house. Oh, <laughs> yeah, really, huh? <laughs> that took all the fun out of it. Uh, you know, I just, when I was pregnant, I lost my brain. And we thought it was cute at the time. And now we're like, what the heck? 
If the dog probably comes here. if the kid doesn't. <laughs> well, that's what I'm finding out, yeah. Yeah. We have a Bailey and a Bella. Oh, and nice. And they both, they both come. To the bee matter. sound. Exactly. It doesn't matter who. They just, they think that they're getting food, so they're both there. Right. Oh, yeah. I think poor little Max thinks his name is Nomax. Nomax. Yeah. Nomax. He's so bad doggy. Uh, he'll he'll make it. That's why they say you're supposed to say Max. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, the problem is sometimes it's so fast. Max, no. Max, no. Max, no. That it ends up being like no Max, no Max. <laughs> I know. There's Seth with Ralphie. Oh. It was just no, a good shot. Just That's cool. So, Seth, are you getting ready for your big adventure at the Slater Conference? I am all ready. I'm already ready already. Actually, I still have to prepare my PowerPoint for it. <laughs> See, you're not all ready already. No It's way. all in here, though. It's all in here, and it gets very quickly from here to there. Well, well we that's that's you. good. We'll, we'll we'll grab you by the ankles, turn you upside down, and shake you, and see what else falls out. That's the wrong song, Nancy. Shut up, Bruce. Shut up, Bruce. <laughs> so, Seth, is it a short commute for you to Sleater Convention? Uh, it's, I'm going to stay at the hotel, but I I mean I could theoretically drive. It'd be about an hour each way each day. Oh, okay. That's yeah. But I just, I kind of blocked the whole three days out on my calendar, and I'm planning on just hanging out there and having fun. Cool. So I'm hoping you're taking your laptop, and we'll get to Google Hangout with you, just like spur of the moment, whenever you have a free moment. Or two. Special ABB. Yeah, I am, and I'm, I'm taking this little guy with me as well, so that I can take, like, good live-action video and have a, I plan on having a lot of video footage to, like, edit and post afterwards. Cool. Awesome. Okay, guys, I have to. I have to scoot. I know we started late, but I have to get out and take care of my little doggies now. So I will talk to you all. Oh, I have to miss Friday this week. I'm going to be at a client, so I'll see you all next Tuesday at Bruce. It's too bad. Seth was going to ha hand out iPads. This week, I'm still waiting for my hundred hours. <laughs> Wait a while. <laughs> well, I, I I will be here for the iPad this week. <laughs> Sorry, Zach. Take care, Gina. Uh -huh. Bye, Bye Gina. Gina. Thanks. <laughs> so, what else is going on with everybody? I'm just doing taxes right now. Yeah. I'm about to take the rest of the day off here because I finally finished up that one account and I have been like running nonstop. I'm tired and I'm cranky. You have good hair though. <laughs> <laughs> there I made we it go. myself. I have another box to open. Cool. Tilt it's your camera. No, it's nothing exciting though. Just plumbing parts. And my image is blurry. Hey, stop it! Uh oh. Oh, the phone's ringing. Oh, nobody important. Denied. I bet you guys will be glad when taxes are done. Yeah, I will. <laughs> <laughs> well, I took on this one client that I wish I hadn't. Because then I'm, then I don't have any money for three months. Yeah. <laughs> that kind of is a drawback. Yeah. Do you guys do payroll internally, or do you outsource it? Never. You always use a service. Too many headaches. Do it yourself. In fact, I set up my um, into an accountant payroll account now, so I can do payroll for people, but they actually do it all for me. And yep. it's pretty cool because you can either set them up on their into a retail payroll, or I get discounted pricing on a wholesale basis, and I can mark it up however much I want. Man managed payroll, well, of course that changed. But. It's in their Intuit online payroll for accounts. And Intuit it, of course, uh, integrates seamlessly with QuickBooks. So it's really QuickBooks cool because you get to the client their own login portal. They go in there, they enter their own payroll. It's all done. 
you know, and then they they get a sync just like the Bill.com sync that you know it just it dumps the payroll checks right into the register. It's great. Are they really payroll checks? Or are they journal yeah. entries, or are they check checks? No, no check checks. No, it posts the check. I did it with my first client last Friday, that interior designer, actually. I set it all up and ran one payroll and synced it up, and it, it posts a check in there with the gross payroll and the liabilities withheld, everything all done. It's Intuit Online Payroll Accountants? Yes. Yeah, hold on. I'll get you the link. Oh, I'm, I got that. I got it. I just needed the verbiage. I'm quick. See, I, I have, I've done payroll, oh my god, since 86. I still do my own. You get paid? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Damn. What's a check? What is that? I, I, I never see, I, I never have any cash. <laughs> but but I, I, I know that every month I transfer money from business checking to personal checking in the form of this is what you got paid this month <laughs> but you never see it oh it, I, I carry no cash I, I, I am one of the probably oddest women in America I do not carry a purse I have a wallet that has one credit card my driver's license and usually maybe ten bucks and that's it. Dead if dead. I ever have cash in my wallet, somebody always knows <laughs> that I have it. Because then it's not there. Oh, mom, can I have like twenty bucks for this? Or can I have ten bucks for this? Or I want to eat. Can you take me out? <laughs> really? <laughs> my girls learned to ask for a credit card at an early age. There you go. My son has one, but he's too cheap to use it. <laughs> So my is girls were five and six and like you're asking me for the credit card. <laughs> yes, Tina, it seriously is. Mine's I, 15. My mouth is about ready to drop. Where has this been? <laughs> I, yeah. I've been using it for years. You know what? The one thing I find the most difficult about Intuit stuff is trying to find it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like I need, you need to know somebody to find out what's there. And I've been on their website, like, I can't tell you how many times looking for stuff, and I can't find it. And then somebody goes, oh, yeah, it's right here. Well, as a pro advisor, they don't want you to know about that side of the business, you know? Well, I'm not a pro advisor, so that must be the problem. <laughs> oh, no. The only reason I about the service, by the way, if you're looking at it, is because... When I was at Cal CPA in June, I met two guys who worked for Intuit Payroll through Doug Sleeter, and I was telling them, they were asking me for honest feedback about some things, and I was telling them about Sure Payroll and how their service works in a capacity that lets the accountant set up branded payroll so that it's, it, you know, it's, it's not transparent. It doesn't necessarily have to look like it's Intuit actually doing it, so you can brand it like you're offering your own payroll service. And then they have a few options where you can, you know, you, you get it discounted and you can either mark it up to the client or not. And when I was describing this to him, he says, oh, we have the same thing. And I was still going to go with Sure Payroll, to be honest, because I just like the guy and I like how he explained it to me, except for one important thing. Doug pointed out to me that the problem with Sure Payroll is they're using an IIF file on the import. They're not using the SDK. So, problem, that's a showstopper right there as far as I'm concerned. Sure. And into it, I knew for sure it would have a nice deep integration with their own sister product <laughs> in terms of QuickBooks. Yeah. And so I, 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 I was at the client. She wanted payroll done. I said, you know what, this is a perfect opportunity for me to, this is how I've learned probably everything I've learned is I just kind of dove in and did it. And that's what I did. I just I remembered that I had his information in Evernote. I went and looked it up. I went to the website, set it all up. We had some questions. It's, it's it's uh, it ends up costing her like thirty. I did the retail for her because I said since I'm testing it out on her, I'm not going to make money on this. Mm -hmm. But um, forty two. I will. Uh, I I just did it the retail uh, package for her, so it's like thirty nine dollars a month plus a buck fifty per employee. Unlimited number of payrolls. I can run ten payrolls in a month, and it's still just a buck fifty per employee. And then uh, free direct deposits. It's actually I think a pretty good deal. Well, it you sounds know, cheaper than their subscription one. Sinks well, I use what? it for all my clients. I, I sell the payroll service to all my clients, and I've been using it for the last three years. And wholesale, it only costs me less than sixteen bucks for each user. And yeah. so, it's for me, it's worth it because I've got like fifteen clients, 15 clients on payroll. Are you getting comfortable, Ted? 
course, I've been working all night and all day. Yeah, I've, I've got a bunch of clients on that payroll, and I don't have to do anything. Well, is that the same one I have? I don't even know what I have. Uh, I tried to sell it to you, and you said you were comfortable with what you had. So. Oh, yeah, I, I guess I am. I guess it's not the same then. No. No. I thought it was the same. So, no. So this is seriously What's the difference? cheaper than the subscription payroll. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it depends on how many clients you have. If you have a lot of clients, it's going to cost you... You know, X number of dollars each month for it. But the beauty of it is, is the clients can go in, they can do their own, they can run their own payroll. And the only thing I have to worry about is just pay the payroll taxes and submit the paperwork. Oh, so you still have to do that part of it? You don't yeah, have to. But it's really two clicks of a button. I mean, it takes, let's see, all my clients, it literally takes me probably yeah, two that's hours the new, total that's time the new a month. Link. Well, I seriously want to get out of doing payroll and doing the file under their payroll taxes. I hate it. I just hate it. I want to do bookkeeping. That's all I want to do. Well, I would say send them my way. No, I'll send them Bruce's way because we already split one of them. So. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So, Bruce, why didn't you tell me about this, Buckaroo? I did. You did? I even got the email that says I did. Do you want me to send it to you again? Yeah, would you mind? <laughs> I want to see the date on that and see why I was like... Losing Missing it that day. He's <laughs> having a kid. <laughs> I love it. Hmm. The only thing about into its online payroll that gets a little complicated is when they have workman's comp issues, and they're using the work, um, the pay as you go. And because uh, a lot of a lot of, a lot of my clients can't get, they won't in workman's comp through into its online payroll won't insure them. Are they contractors? Uh, yeah, good point. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, when when the Hartford first put out that pay as you go workers comp plan, I was like, I was so excited. I was so excited, and went to the Sleater conference and talked to one of the guys, and oh yeah, he he would have chased me from. Florida to, to Vermont to get hold of a client list until I said to him, they're construction. <laughs> and then he was like, oh, well, we, 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 and it was like, yeah, okay, never mind, we, I got it. You don't want to do contractors. Thank you very much. Bye. Yeah, my contractor's having that issue right now. He's trying to become a corporation and hire a guy, and he's having all kinds of workers' comp issues. Yeah, that's what one of my clients we've just been going through. We finally got them workman's comp insurance. Um, the, the sad part about it is it was through ADP payroll, which is the most expensive payroll service out there on the planet. And I don't even know how they managed to get it for them. You couldn't get that insurance from state fund? Uh, they didn't get the insurance from the state fund. They got it through ADP. Wow. But ADP for each payroll run cost is costing them like eighty dollars plus a two hundred dollars setup plus a twenty six dollar fee for processing the um, workman's comp through payroll. Okay. So payroll, you know, for just one person winds up costing them over two hundred dollars a month. Oh heck no! I'm not even getting it. Right yeah. Get get hold of. Um, the insurance dude.com in in California. Yeah, Tim. I think it is yeah. something like that. Yeah. I I kind of sent some stuff his way and then I kind of didn't follow through. <laughs> so, again, that kid thing. And yeah, I don't think it was the kid thing that time. I think it was something else. I think I took But he's class. he's pretty de he's pretty decent. He seems to do a lot with contractors. Yeah. Um it, matter of fact, like one of the first Google Hangouts that I did, it was Tim and a guy out of California who does prevailing wage fringe benefit packages, and myself and and the three of us did a hangout, and he was just he was phenomenal. Okay, I'll check it out again. I've still got his email in my my save basket. Um, 
I think I took on a new client. I talked to my contractor about it. He said, just hold off a minute, and then, you know, it just kind of didn't go anywhere from there. So. Yeah. Well, I got to go, guys. I got to take one child to the police department. So. Okay. Well, I'm you're taking well. him to the police department? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he's a volunteer. Oh, okay. There's, well, I guess I should have said that, huh? Didn't <laughs> Yeah, I, I post it like every weekend and they're like, what do you mean you're taking your kid to the police department? What's wrong with you? And I'm like, it's not what I mean. He's got a group he's got to go to every week. That's good. Yeah, yeah I did a run too, so I'll see you next week or Friday, I guess. Yep, and uh, we'll be here next month, uh, second Tuesday of November, whenever that is. Wednesday. Uh, oh, the 14th. Okay. When, November 14th. Okay. And hopefully Google will like me next month. Maybe it's because <laughs> I only do them once a month. I don't know. Yeah. Depends on who wins the uh, election. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there we go. I'm sure that's going to play a big part in it. <laughs> I just figure out when it's over with. I'm sick of it all. Oh. Yeah, I'm with you oh my God! Everybody is like—I mean, I, I make it a habit. Never talk about religion, <laughs> politics. Well, yeah. religion and politics, yeah. okay? <laughs> um, because it, I mean, it, everybody is like so ready to jump down somebody else's yeah. throat. Yep. You know, some of the 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 groups that I belong to that are supposed to be bookkeeping based and accounting based oh my god I, I swear if you put those people in a room together that you'd, you'd have to go in with a bucket loader to just clean up the bloody mess yeah yeah, yeah I'm just glad when it's done yep I'm with you yep yeah I the rule never to talk politics and religion with any clients also yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the subject matter completely. If they bring it up, I just go on to something else. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Okay. Well, thanks, day. guys. Have a great okay. week. Bye bye. Thanks, See some of you on Friday. Okay. Bye. 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 bye.